Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be my makeup collection. Um, I have a really small collection of makeup. I don't have huge amounts, I literally have what I use and that's it. And to be honest with you, I don't even use everything I've got. So I am going to show you this. So this is kind of how it looks. So that's like my everyday makeup. This is where I store everything. There's some extra bits and then I've got my brushes on the back. So I'm going to show you that in detail now. So first of all, I'll show you this unit I've got, and I got this from Home Base for under five pounds. It was, and it's just like a unit that's got four different drawers in. So I stand it up, and I'll take out the bottom drawer. This is my lip drawer, and I'm going to make this sound because if you ever watch um, makeup stars videos, do you not just love the sound on camera when people do this with their like lipsticks and stuff. I just love the sound that it makes on camera. But anyway, this is my lip drawer. So, one of my favourites is the Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss Stick. And this is the bashful colour, which probably will not focus. But anyway, I've got that one. I use that one more for everyday wear and especially in the summer and spring. And then I've got the same but in plum jam and I use this for more in the evenings more um, dramatic looks and in the winter and autumn so I've got that I've got the Maybelline baby lips and I have got the hydrate one which is the blue one and I think it's meant to taste or smell of like grape I've got two of the uh, body shop born lippies in the strawberry flavor because I love it and it smells perfect mm. so I've got that and what I really, really like and think is good is this Natural Collection um, Tinted Balm. And this one is in Melon Cooler. And this pairs brilliantly with this. And it really does moisturise and hydrate your lips. And it just gives it a nice um, glossy sheen. But it doesn't like make it dead sticky and stuff. So I really like that. Forever Magazine. I think these are well past the best now to be honest with you. But... I just kind of keep them. Is the Gemma Kid Makeup School? Um, well, just a lip balm, I guess. I don't even know what the colour is or anything like that. But these are really, really nice. But I think they've gone off now, basically. I have got three MUA lipsticks. I have got shade three, shade one, and shade eight. The only problem is I took all the lids off like this, and then I put them back on. But I don't know if I've put the right lid on the right lipstick now. And that is where it tells you the shade. So, which is not focusing. So, yeah. But anyway. So, I've got this, like, ready colour. Deep red, I'd call it. And also, the good thing about these is if you run out or you want to... Oh, I can't even do it now. You pull out this bottom bit. Oh, maybe I'll try it on the other one. But somehow you pull that bottom bit out and you've got, like, there we are. Extra lip gloss when you've you've run out of your room which is pretty cool so this is a very pinky fuchsia colour which is pretty nice and then another one which is oh if you watch one of my vlogmas videos I think it was day 15 I dropped this on my carpet like that and oh, it's all got done in at the end not to mention my poor carpet has a humongous stain on it so that's what the story behind that one and that is actually my most worn one so so the next draw up is my eyeshadows and these are all uh mua ones so firstly i have got the what's this one called the ever after matte palette which i really really like you get mainly neutral shades but they're so nice i mainly use this one this one, this one, this one, and this one. I've never really used the greeny, but it's quite nice actually when you look at it, isn't it? So that is really good. It's really good colour pigmentation and it's long lasting and it is matte. There's no shimmer in it like all the other MUA ones I've got and I'm about to show you. I've got that. I have got the Undress Me 2 eyeshadow palette, which is like the dupe of the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. And I love it. You get quite a nice shade range in here as well. All neutrals, which I like about it. So you can see the ones that I use most because they're the ones that are dented in. But these are really nice as well. And 
I'm sure you've heard loads about them, so I got that. And now up for this, this is usually six pounds, I think, but I bought two MUA things and I got this free and the two things I bought were only amounting to five pound and this is the Artist collection and you can see my reflection. Anyway, I got the Artist collection and you get these like marbled effect ones and I really like this one and I use this one as a base. And then you get two blushes, a bronzer and a highlighter so that is a really nice set actually and I really like this. And that is it on the back, the Artiste collection. And then the last MUA one, which was the first one I got, is called the Glamour Day Eyeshadow Palette. And again, you get, is it 12? Yes, 12 shades in here. And these are them. They're more, mm, well, Glamour Days, I guess, with the blue and the greens and the purples. So I got them. Next draw up is what do I call it? Mirrors and lip balms, but I've changed it. This is kind of a bit of everywhere draw. So I've got some little compact mirrors, and I think this one's so nice with the little flowers on it. I have got mirror, 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 Betty Boop mirror, Ooh. mirror, one of these slidey mirrors, mirror random toothpick this jar is not that great and then i've got these don't fit into my top drawer with i keep all this stuff so they just slotted in here so this is the maybelline dream matte mousse in ivory i like that a lot had it for years i've not had that one for years this one is unopened but i've had this um like brand for years and then i've got tanya bear's favorite the rimmel stay matte pressed powder which is really nice and really good as well and this is my new one so that's why it's like in this section so that's about it for that drawer not a very exciting drawer really and then in the top drawer of my little blue pulley outy thing i've got all my spares of things so i've got the natural collection pressed powder in neutral and i really like this i've bought endless um pots or whatever you want to call it of this and i always go back to it i love it and I just totally shook my tripod then. <laughs> I've got like, oh, I got this blusher, but I don't really use this one. But I quite like it. I got it through a magazine. But it's nice. But anyway, the only brush blusher I really use is this pink cloud one from the Natural Collection. And it's just fantastic. It's a really nice pinky colour. And it just shows up so nicely on your cheeks. and gives you a proper natural warm glow. And it's like, what, one ninety nine. And it's just brilliant. As you can see, I'm quite the cheap person for getting brands like this all the time. And then I got, in the rest of here, I have got a spare uh, Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation in 100 Ivory. Everybody knows about this, how good it is. It's got a pump. It really does wake you up and reduces that fatigue feeling. Not feeling, look. If you feel it, you feel it. You can get rid of the look of it, though. Um, and it's just good, it lasts for ages. The only thing I'm a bit like, mm, I don't know if I like it, is the glitter it kind of gives out, but I re bought it. And also, Lloyd's Pharmacy sell Rimmel London and they have really good deals on um, Rimmel things, so that's when I picked this up. I have got, they, these were on a deal, so I bought three of these, and they are the Emuwear Undress Your Skin um, Illuminating Foundation. And I got it in porcelain. They only do three shades, I think, and this is the lightest one. Because I'm a pale person. And this is great. It just is good. It stays well. It's a, probably one of the best colour matches I have for my skin, actually. Although, when you put it on, you look so pale with it. And you think, oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. But when you blend it in, it fixes really, really well. And then I've got some concealers. So, I have got... The Natural Collection concealer, which is basically a bit battered now. I've got two of these and they look like this and they're pretty good, really. They're like, you just like paint them on like a lipstick and they do what they're supposed to do, basically. And then I have got a new cole ooh, Collection Lasting Perfection concealer, which I don't know if I've gone off a little bit now, actually. It doesn't seem to... It works well, I think, and it covers well, but I think on my skin it kind of goes a bit 
orangey and clumpy and much prefer these two which are oh surprise surprise <laughs> their natural collection and this one is in fair this is good use it every day always go back to this and the uh, emua cover and conceal and this is good as well and this is in fair as well and i like it and it's new and it's good and i have got my makeup bag which I use for my everyday makeup and I guess the bulk of it almost is stored in here and it looks messy but look at the nice print I like that so first of all I have got my core collection kit of uh, Real, Technique, Real Technique brushes so you get the buffing brush I forget what this one's called all the time because I don't use this one much the detailer brush they are what is it called the pointed foundation brush the contour brush which i use for blusher and then i bought this one separately and it is one of my favorites and this is the expert face brush is it going to show kind of and it looks like this and it's nice and domed and it just does your foundation so so well so i use them on a daily basis and i love them